it's live. How do I know? You'll see it there, it says live. Red, right there, live. That camera that way. All right, y'all. Your boy Blue here. I'm on strip right now. Uh, this is actually a lot busier than I expected. Um, a lot of people are out on the strip today, tonight, um, which is really unusual. I thought it was going to be a lot less busier. Um, but the focus tonight, you know, we're not going to be walking. We're just driving and taking a look at things. Um, we need to definitely keep this town in prayer. We need to keep Vegas in prayer. We need to lift this town up. There's a lot of depression here, sadness. You're looking around as the camera goes around, you're looking around at this nothingness. Nobody walking the streets, no one enjoying themselves. Everything's closed, yes, lights are still on, but I think it's a legal thing they have to keep them on. But if you look at these streets, you're seeing nothing, nobody on these streets. It's a very depressing thought and scene. And, uh, Leaders of the churches and leaders of faith have got to lift this town up. We have got to definitely keep this town in prayer, pray for protection, pray for revival, restoration. It is vital to this town that we do this. And as somebody who's been here for 25 years of my life, I'm seeing just an overall depression of this town. And this part of, this, of, of Vegas is what made Vegas. We don't have state income tax because these casinos and these hotels paid for that, took, hip, took care of that for us. And you're looking, you're seeing the MGM, you're seeing the Park MGM, this, this, this brand new stuff. And we need to keep this going. We need to pray. I encourage every church member watching this video, whether it's on demand or live, whatever it may be, everyone needs to pray for Vegas. This isn't so much Vegas stronger. This is Jesus strong. We need to bring life back to this town. There's a community of, of leaders and, and ministers who have the power to pray and to, and, and, to, and to virtually go online with your church members and to tell them to lift up this town in prayer. It's vital to the success of this town and the rebuilding. It's just sad. I'm watching and looking at it and I can't believe it. I can't believe Two months ago, two and a half, three months ago, this place was packed. Today, it's like a ghost town on the streets. It's horrible. It really is horrible. There's people who, who know Vegas from many years back who would have never in their lifetime dreamed that they would see Vegas this way. Now, obviously, as you look, you see New York, New York, and things around New York. Not a person around. And yes, I know there's nothing to do, it's all closed down. But we can still come out, legally still come out and pray, drive the strip, walk the strip, and just pray God's peace on this town. There's a lot of people who work in these casinos, in these hotels who are out of work, who are strive, starving to make rent and to make money for the feed their families. The Tropicana, the Excalibur, the Luxor, the Mandalay Bay, I know people in this industry, in the hotel industry, who don't have work right now because they're closed down. They're struggling to make ends meet. We need to pray for these people. We need to pray that God does something special. So I ask you now, come together, pray for Vegas. Pray for Vegas. Pray for a revival. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys.